So has this happened to you? You just get done hooking up a brand new tank, you go to crack it open, and you hear this. You try tightening it, you think it's coming from the regulator. I bet you it's not. So now let's hook up a different tank and see what happens. And there we go. No problems with the regulator. It's the tank. So if you've had this problem, you may not want to go out and buy a brand new regulator right away because more than likely, it's not the regulator, it's actually the tank itself. I gave my father a call who retired from uh, the, a propane company. Uh, he was there for like 30 something years and I said, hey dad, listen, I, bought, I got a, a new propane tank, I hooked it up and it's spewing gas and I, I think it's the regulator. He said, well, before you go out and buy a new regulator, Hook it up to a different tank that's full. See if you have the same problem. And uh, you know what? Sure as hell. I hooked it up and uh, didn't have that problem. So uh, you may want to try another tank and see if you're getting that problem consistently with another tank before you think about jumping into a new regulator because you know it's going to happen. You're going to go. You're gonna, it's a pain in the ass. You go out. You buy the regulator. You hook it back up. You turn it on and you're like, oh, they sent me a defective one. So now what are you doing? You're sending that one back. You're getting a new one. You set that one up on the same tank and you're still having the same problem. It may not be the regulator. So again, before you go out and buy the brand new regulator, check it out and see if it's the tank itself. It could be just the threads. Um, sometimes there's a little, um, uh, a little washer in there that the nipple sits in that maybe is corroded or has some gunk on it. Um, or if you have a, um, uh, the exchange tanks, just bring it back and get another one and, and see what happens. Uh, so I hope this helps and uh, thanks for watching.